Hello. This video is how to pick up chicks. Now the reason I decided to do this video is twofold. Well, threefold. One is last night I I saw the movie How to Alienate Loose Friends and Alienate People Hit That Girl Megan Fox and it's like type Megan Fox on YouTube. And then I saw these other videos like how to pick up chicks. So I was like, huh. So that's like a big video, so I guess I'll do one too, because I like to do a video on every subject, so this is a subject, so I guess I'll do one of those videos. Um, another reason is I looked on Yahoo Insight, and 75% of the people who watch my videos are guys, so I guess I'll do a video directed towards my demographic, men. Uh, and then the third reason is, um, is uh, I guess those are the first, the, the two reasons. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this video as like me being like some kind of authority figure on the subject or anything like that. I'm just doing it because it's another thing to do. So, uh, so basically this is how you pick up, not just pick up, but hold on to the chicks that you already got. Now I know the rules about how to hold on to a girl because I was with a girl for five years and I know what makes girls happy and what makes girls sad. Okay. Now, if you want to pick up on a girl, right, what you do is you you have to look at women kind of like like gazelles. You're like, you're the lion, they're the gazelle. So, only the one difference is the lion would choose the weakest gazelle of the pack and go after that. What you want to do is choose the strongest gazelle. You want to choose the one that's the oddest, the one that you really want to go after. The last thing you want to do is go after a girl that you're not sure that you want. Now, I know some guys would disagree with that. They'd say, oh, go after any girl. It's just practice. But no, I don't think, I mean, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to go after a girl just because she's a girl and it's like for practice because then you're going to end up dumping her or whatever and it's not going to, it's not going to be good for your overall karma or integrity. <sighs> and like people and girls will pick up on that. And then the next time you pick up on a girl, um, unless you're a really good liar and you can even lie to yourself and stuff, so I wouldn't do that. So basically, go after the one that's the hottest. Uh, you know, not necessarily the hottest, but the one that you can see yourself with the most. So, just like a lion, the lion doesn't choose one and run after it for two seconds and then choose another one, run after it for two seconds and then choose another one. No, 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 what you got to do is you got to choose one, and then you have to stick with that one. You can you to you go after her. Now, of course, that rule is not going to apply if you are, uh, if you're, like, talking to that one girl, and she's with her group of girls. In that case, you want to talk to her, but you also want to talk to all of them. Because it would be kind of creepy to just talk to one, focus in on one. Because then those other girls would feel left out. And, and then we we'll talk trash about you behind your back. So you don't want that to happen. So basically. What you do is you set sights on white girl. So what do you do? I guess. Call her all the time. Call her all the time. Call her all the time. Invite her out all the time. Invite her all the time. Invite her out all the time. Send her flowers all the time. Send her flowers all the time. Send her flowers all the time. And then, when, and then, like, shower her with, uh, with attention and stuff. Now, when you're actually talking to the girl, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to, um, you want to definitely appreciate the girl while she's there. You know, like, like, you know how it's awesome to look at photos of beautiful girls and, like, look at them and go, oh, wow. You know, so it's, like, a hundred times cooler to be looking at a beautiful girl who's right in front of you than it is to be looking at that beautiful girl in a photo because when the girl's right in well, 423 trippy when the girl's right in front of you uh you know you can feel her energy you can see her and smell her it's like way better so you basically want to be lapping that up right and like feel her so like you know so like what do you do when you're looking at a beautiful girl you your eyebrows go up you get a smile like this and you go like uh-huh yeah and you just like you just like fall into her 
And then, you know, she can feel that as you're falling into her. And, you know, she'll appreciate that. And then you want to ask lots of questions about her. And be really interested in her. And be really interested in her. So, you know, you just be like, so you find out stuff about her and then ask more questions about her, ask more questions about her. You just delve into her and ask about her and stuff and be all into her like that. You know. And, uh, and girls like that. And then you compliment her. You go, oh, wow, yeah, awesome, awesome hair. Great, great, great smell. You know, and if you feel, if you feel it in you, you can even go, oh, yeah, you're just hot. You know? Now, if you freak the girl out, if she, like, turns around away from you, and say she's in the other direction while you're talking to her, then you know that she's not into you, and then you just leave her alone. That's kind of like the gazelle getting away. And then you just choose another one, and then you go after that one until that one gets away. And if you do that enough, choosing one girl until you know that she's dumped you, you know, then you're eventually probably going to gonna score a girl and I want you to score a girl the way you keep a girl is you have to keep calling her keep calling her keep wanting to go out with her keep wanting to go out with her keep giving her presents keep giving her presents keep giving her stuff like flowers and all that <laughs> you keep complimenting her and keep complimenting her and keep complimenting her right now for example my wife like I was kind of different with my wife until I got married. Once I got married, I kind of changed. So you basically want to be with a girl, if you want to keep a girl, you want to treat her the way I treated my wife before I got married, you know, you gotta, you know, like, like when the girl, like this is, this is when she's already a girlfriend. Like when the girl like freaks out on you and yells and screams at you, which girls do sometimes, so for some, for some reason they have like, har they have like hormonal imbalances a lot. Just, uh, just roll over on your back, you know, put your arms up like you're a dead cockroach or like you're you're like a subordinate dog or something and just let them walk all over you and scream and they're like, you know, don't say anything, just be like. And then when they're done venting, and then you can come in and you can hug them and be nice to them, and, you know, they appreciate that. Uh, now, of course, I didn't really do that with my wife after I got married because, well, because, you know, I was paying for everything and that kind of made me a little bit agitated and I would kind of, you know, you know, plus I would, I wouldn't, I really, she wasn't really the right girl for me, you know, because she'd like say stuff that didn't make sense <gasps> and I'd put her in her place, you know, so definitely if a girl says something that doesn't make any sense, you definitely want to put that girl in her place, you know, I'm, I'm saying, I'm just saying when they say stuff when they're in on an, on an, on an on an unheightened emotional state that's when you want to back off because they're not thinking logically when they're in that when that state but uh but it basically if you know if you see eye to eye with the girl then you definitely uh, want to be honest and everything but uh but yeah basically let them rant and rave you know and just be like that because they like it when you when you surrender to them now one thing about women we love oh, money, so if you're like really rich, you're you're in. But you know, most guys don't have all that much money, so if you don't have money going for you, definitely want to be fit and healthy and, and hot and good looking and healthy and stuff. That's the next best thing. But you know, apart from looks and money and stuff, in order to keep a girl, you just have to be sweet and you have to keep uh uh, you have to keep uh, complimenting them, being nice to them, making them think like, believe that you're, you're happy with them, and that you wouldn't have anybody else, and even act a little bit jealous too, they like that, at least a lot of girls do. <sighs> and so, anyways, I'm out of time. So this is basically directed towards like, seventh graders whose balls haven't dropped yet i'm not talking i'm not trying to talk to a player players don't have their own game their own philosophy they wouldn't be watching this video anyway so anyway that's my two cents on that subject <laughs> it's just it's just me never thought i'd do a video on this but anyways that's me